want to take a look at the latest coronavirus numbers in North Carolina. There were just over 700 new cases reported today, marking the fewest since August. There were 12 new deaths reported. The low numbers are most likely due to the Labor Day holiday. There were just over 7,200 tests processed, the smallest number of tests since June. And we've been seeing some of the lowest hospitalization numbers in weeks, but there could be a reason for that. DHHS says it's having issues getting those figures from a couple of areas in the state and says it's probably probably an undercount. Tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary digging deeper into where those trouble spots are. We found some parts of the state where fewer hospitals are turning in their numbers. We've been tracking the percentage of hospitals that report how many COVID-19 patients they have every day. And in four of the past six days, it's been much lower than usual, below 80%. So we look deeper to find exactly where the problems are. DHHS splits the state into eight regions. And when the issues began on Friday, the agency said it didn't receive complete numbers from two of them, the triad shown here in blue and the eastern in yellow. Even today, the state says it's still seeing continued issues, and the holiday weekend made them worse. Yesterday, the numbers were lowest in a different region, the Western Mountains, where only half the hospitals reported their numbers. And in the East, that figure was less than two-thirds. It was only a little better today. Both regions had reporting rates below 70%. We reached out to DHHS for answers and contacted the offices for those regions, but didn't hear back in time. At CBS17.com, we've got the link where you can look up how often the hospitals in your region turn their numbers in. For CBS17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.